Real Agriculture's coverage of Agritechnica 2019 is brought to you by Bravant. Seed. Yield. Easy. Sean Haney here with Real Agriculture. We're at Agritechnica 2019, brought to you by Bravant, and we're talking to Eric from Soil Reader. Eric, how's it going? Well, excellent. Fantastic show. And Eric, you're based out of Manitoba. Correct. Winnipeg, Manitoba. This is good. Okay. So, uh, numerous people said to me, you need to go talk to Eric at Soil Reader because he has something that is extremely cool, and a few people use the word revolutionary. So what, what is the Soil Reader product? Well, the Soil Reader product um, brings basically the laboratory into the, into the field, right into the soil, um, in real time, on the go style. So, um, you know, we uh, deliver the same results as you normally would get from uh, a uh, soil laboratory. Uh, we have about um, 6,000 data points uh, per acre and uh, we uh, deliver that in an agronomic platform so um, the crop consultants or the farmers can overlay it with their yield data or historical field data and you know uh, produce better prescriptions. Okay, so the tractor is going through the field. The, the, it's, we're direct seeding. That's so right. we're going through the field, we're direct seeding. Yep. Uh, there, it's, on a, it's on a coulter, a disc. Yep. Uh, it's it's going through. How how deep is that disc going down? Okay, the diameter of the disc is uh, you know can vary. So we if you want to go uh, a foot deep, we make a bigger a larger diameter culture. And if you want to go six inches, as you see here, then we're around 27 inches of uh, diameter of culture. And so how is it taking that reading? Like that's the part that probably a lot of people get, they got to get their head around it. You know what? Yesterday uh, there was a, a um, uh, analytical uh, company. They own laboratories worldwide. They use near infrared spectroscopy to analyze their soil in the lab. So we're not doing anything on the on the science side that we're you know bending the arm of the science so to speak in order to work. So what the accomplishment was is we are bringing light into the soil and that was the hurdle or the obstacle because uh, up till now uh, that was the, the the challenge how to bring that light and capture the reflection into the soil most spectrometers are the size of a shoe box so how are you going to work with that to get it into the soil so that is the modifications that we have made in order to use a uh, mini spectrometer a very powerful mini spectrometer and uh, get uh, the window in the ground and keep the um, spectrometer in the hub. Okay, so is there circumstances where, you know, you were talking to me earlier about this, that you know you had to design a system that was was durable and yep. rugged enough to be able to survive some of the conditions that we're going That's through. Right. Uh, is that really the constraint is being able to, or what are the constraints of yeah. this product? Yeah, so you have to get that light into the ground and it has to be uh, in contact with the soil in a consistent fashion, okay? So you don't, uh, you don't want to prepare the soil. You don't want to disturb the soil. And uh, that's what we have been successful and proven with. We were um, at, um, uh, in Langenberg, um, you know, at Terry Eberhardt's farm. And let me tell you, if you want to see rocks, that's the place to go. <laughs> and we asked Terry, what's your speeding rate? Uh, or what you, at what, uh, you know... Uh, your seating speed. Uh, seating speed. And he said five miles an hour. I said, you drive five miles an hour. And that's what he did. And, you know, we kept on recording and kept on recording. Which nutrients are we focused on here? Well, we have, uh, at the moment, we can do 15 constituents. Uh, you know, and... Uh, sand, clay, moisture, EC, organic matter, pH. Next year we'll also be doing temperature, uh, and P and K, and the R squares, that is technical language, so to speak. Um, most of it is in the 0 0.8, 0 0.9 range, some in the 0.7 range, and there are uh, one that's, that's a little bit lower, but we have the chemometrics, you know, the let's call it the, um, the computing power, you know, to upgrade that. We have um, Dr. Shim Biswas from the University of Guelph uh, who um, helps us with uh, the development, um, you know, of the uh, calibration. So we feel already good enough to say next year we'll be in Saskatchewan. Wow. Yes. So not th we're not talking concepts. No. Nope. We are talking reality. Yeah. So we will be at the Eberhardt Farms. 
um, and uh, also at his crop consulting business. So that's where we will, you know, uh, be in operation. Cool. And, and so based on the data we're getting, yep. then we're going to use uh, the, the power of computing yes. to come up with what that variable rate potentially could yes. be or what, what nutrients we need to be putting yep. down at that time. So this will, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, and disruptor of yeah, the industry yeah. because once you have you know your your sand and clay uh, content as we do you can um, you know establish your your silt so you know your soil type we also know moisture so at the moment of seeding you know what that seed is going to encounter you know for it to uh, be able to um, to uh, germinate emerge and if you then add the data flow from your weather stations to that and also your crop canopy um, you know imaging data then you can also start thinking about a uh, crop growth and yield modeling and we also have applied uh, for patents on on that okay but well, yeah i i think even just fall applying a fertilizer. Oh, absolutely. So this could also be mounted to your combine. While you're combining, you know, uh, we, ha we can have that mounted, you know, under your combine. So while you're combining, you already can produce a detailed map uh, of your uh, nutrient requirement, you know, if you want to apply f uh, in the fall fertilizer so that you have an easier job, you know, uh, getting your seeding done in spring. Eric, if anybody out there wants more information on Soil Reader, how do they get it? Okay, um, you know, contact us at uh, soilreader.com. Okay. It's as simple as that. Perfect. Eric, thanks a lot. You're welcome. Thanks.